Hi everyone, my name's Chris. I'm the founder of the Fish Reef Project. Most life in the sea, like this coral you see in front of you, starts as plankton, small plants and animals. Unfortunately, most of the seafloor is naked mud, so there's not a lot of opportunity for that plankton to grab onto objects and grow. So we make fish reef units like you see in front of you. It gives the plankton a place to grow and thrive. This is a project we did in Oxnard, California, where we invited some locals to see how it's done. This is Lonnie Nelson, one of the hardest working individuals in the world. He's been with the Fish Reef Project for years and he's doing all the hard work here. It's made out of marine grade concrete and it's designed to last for hundreds of years in the marine environment. Here it is the next day, setting up, a couple good luck coins and we're pulling the air bladder out with the forklift. Reinforcements have finally arrived. We're happy to have them. So many dedicated volunteers have made it possible for the Fish Reef Project to be a success all around the world. Although it looks like Lonnie's still doing most of the heavy lifting. When we have a large scale production, we use full size cement trucks rather than manual cement mixers like this. Here we are pulling the mold off. And it's kind of an igloo shaped object that's based off a 50 year old Japanese design. And then we hose off the excess layer of concrete and voila, here you go. Two brand spanking new fish reef units that will be deployed like this at some point in the future. And after a few days, the fish will find it. And then in about five years, you have a fully grown, thriving marine ecosystem. The lobsters will love it. And it will offer restoration opportunity for our coastal abalone population. These are two fish reef units that we deployed off Santa Barbara a number of years ago. And they are thriving with life. The kelp, the perch, the scallops, the crab, the sea stars, you name it. It's on these fish reef units. We counted 80 scallops on two fish reef units. And the sand around the fish reef units came to life. And we hope one day to use the fish reef units off of Goleta Beach to restore the kelp bed there that in turn will help the beach become wider. On the global stage, we hold a seat on the United Nations International Seabed Authority where we help contribute to global oceans policy. Our focus right now is on West Africa because food is a critical source of food security. Rather, fish is a, is a critical source of food security. So by creating more opportunities for fish to thrive and live, we help provide more food security for hardworking African fishermen and families and societies. This is Stanley, our project team leader in Ghana, Africa, explaining the project to local fishermen. The local fishermen are very receptive to the idea. They love the idea of having reefs and fish for future generations. This is Dr. Wilfred Luss. We're off to Papua New Guinea and we're taking a look underwater there. It's very clear. Although a lot of the seafloor was empty mud and sand, except for this giant alua that looked like he wanted to eat me. So by placing fish reef units in Papua New Guinea, you'll be able to achieve these types of results. Large new coral beds, new lobster fishing grounds. They'll lead to a more sustainable future. And the fishermen of Papua New Guinea really support this project because they just want more fish for their families, more fish for their future, and a sustainable future for Papua New Guinea. Thank you for watching and thank you for helping ocean life thrive.